So this is going to be a new series on my channel where I basically do like survival or whatever. But I mean obviously I'm not going to like kill animals for food and whatever. Because I literally have a house right over there. So it's raining right now. So let's get something set up to collect water. Just a drizzle though, but still. The ancient bull is on top of the ancient car. I'm not equipped for this kind of weather. But you know what? Screw it. Let's go looking for Flint. Even though there's no Flint anywhere. Ah, it's raining a lot more now. No Flint here. Oh. There's none whatsoever. Alright, that's it. I give up for right now. I'm gonna go try to find some dew or some trees or something. Let's see how our water's doing. Oh crap. There's like nothing in here. Just keep it. It's raining harder now. Uh, where does this trick off to? I know it's a car, so it's kind of cheating, but don't kill me. Ooh. So I just gotta watch and see where it's coming off of. Never mind, I'm just gonna put it back up here. Or over here. It's raining really hard now, I gotta seek shelter. Alright, that's it. To shelter! In the springtime, there's so much wheat here. I gotta start trying to harvest that stuff. Now this is also where coyotes sleep, so let's just hope I don't die. This is a good spot. Oh no, that's all cacti. Crap. Just right under this Rocky Mountain juniper. Alright, found a good spot. No coyotes. Thank God. There's not a house there. Alright, just stopped raining and also I just heard something like an animal over there, so I'm just gonna get away. Alright, so now let's go collect some dew. We can't. And the water we got is like, I don't know, 7 milliliters of water. Not very much. Let's go see what we can shake off these trees. These trees are going to help me a lot in the future, getting food and whatever. Because they're pine trees, and pine trees have a lot of different things you can eat off of them. Not something to get any water off the pine trees, because if water does land on them, they'll just slide off. So let's go try to find some trees with normal leaves. Wow, what a strange woodpecker. That was like black and white. I'll have to identify that when I get back into the house. <sighs> Pretty sure there's one tree with normal leaves over here. Might be wrong. There it is. Thank God there's three trees. Oh, but all the leaves are pointed down, so any water is gone. Found a fruit. Don't know if it's edible. Um, I mean, I'll put it in my pocket and see if it is. It's it's overripe. Hey, seeds are seeds. Yeah, I'm getting some water. Not much. Maybe a few drops. Hoping there are more of those fruits. I'll just drop that overripe one. I think that's all the water I'm going to get today. I oh, don't know, it's producing quite a bit of water actually. I don't think I'm catching it correctly, but you know what? I don't really care. I'll pick a few of these and then I'll see if I can eat them. So, after a lot of identification and stuff, I just still can't identify these quite. And I realized why after I cut into one to see what it looked like on the inside. It just smells exactly like a grape. But, um, they're not mature yet, so I can't use any identification guides or whatever. Because it's not mature. So, yeah. Can't eat those yet. But I'll keep an eye on those trees. There are a few I think it might be. And if it turns black, it's 
or red, it's gonna be one of them. Oh, right, let's get all the water into this mason jar. Which will be my collection thing for a while. I'm gonna use this Tupperware tap water and then I'll put it in here. And then once I have enough, I'll actually boil it and convert it into distilled water for me to drink. So I'm just gonna walk around looking for more and easier to catch dew and also some flint so I can make tools or whatever. Also, so if I need to, I can start a fire outside on the concrete, obviously, because I don't want to catch this field on fire. That way I can distill my water. So as you can see in this series, I'm trying to use as little, as little, like, things from inside the house, like a Tupperware or like a lighter or whatever that I can. So these bushes might have some nice dew on them. I've seen berries on them, but obviously... They're red berries, so I have no clue because, you know, you are always taught berries are red. Just, just be safe. Don't eat them. Because, like, half of them are filled with cyanide, a psychoactive drugs or something. See all these red berries? I have no idea what they are, so I'm not going to eat them. And that is until I get my berries of Colorado field guide, and then I'll know what these are.